We're uh, here today with uh, some German helmets and basically I want to go over the World War II German system and then later on we're going to go over the antique German system because I have some helmets that go back to 1740 from Germany. So I'm going to start with this helmet here. This is actually a World War II helmet and a World War I helmet. And after World War I, the German fire service adopted the military helmet as their fire helmet. And it was, um, it, has, it had a leather piece that went around the back here. And on the front of it, it has the insignia of what's known as the Feuerschutzpolizei, which means the fire police in uh, Germany. And Hitler got everybody to be one service, police and fire together. So this, this was the insignia, and this was on just about everything they did. It's on the front of this little hat here. And any place else you see this, four shoots pull its eye, you know that that was the fireman policeman of Germany. This was, uh, this helmet will show up in several other uh, segments that we do. This style of helmet seems to be extremely popular in Germany in the 50s and 60s. Or not Germany, but all of Europe. And I'll be showing you that a little, little bit later on. This helmet was used also, this was what was known as a Luftschutz helmet. And if you see this in an antique store, antique dealer will tell you it was probably the Air Force helmet, but it wasn't. The word Luftschutz means air raid fire protection. And uh, these were specially made, they were designed different than the other helmets, and I guess they were made very fast because they had a lot of auxiliary firemen and policemen. And this one is kind of a blue color, and it's got this little ridge around the edge here, which is, uh, there's a reason for that. I'm not sure what it is. I read about it the other day. And also for the loof shoots, they would use, this was a helmet from a captured country. And what the Germans did is they went into a country and they took over the army. They would grab all their helmets and they would send them back to Germany. And these helmets then became fire police helmets and auxiliary soldier helmets. I believe this one was from Czechoslovakia. So this, this also says Luftschutz on the top, and it has the, uh, the wreath on there that indicates it's the, it's the fire, fire protection, please. Now, i got to tell you something really wild that happened over there. When, <clears throat> when we were coming into Germany, we kind of dropped a lot of leaflets, and the leaflets said, if you're wearing a helmet when we see you, we'll consider you a combatant, and we'll probably shoot at you. So as they came into Berlin, and this happens to be a Berlin fire helmet, the fire truck came down the street. The fire trucks were painted green, by the way. They were big Mercedes Benz fire engines, pretty nice apparatus. Coming down the street, and the guys jumped out. And of course, some of the soldiers were down the street, and they saw all these guys jump out with these helmets on, and they started shooting at them. So the guys gave up and got down on the ground, and the soldiers came up, and one of them, I guess, looked in the compartment, and he says, I think these guys are firemen. And the answer back, according to a friend of mine that's over there, and his grandfather was in the Berlin Fire Brigade at the time, he said, Ja, wie ist Feuermann? And so they reported that to the governor of Berlin, and the governor says, well, they can't wear those helmets. So they took all the helmets away from them, and they let them wear this little helmet here. They made them take off this little swastika and the, and the four shoots pull its eye signy on the front, and that's what they were wearing to fight fire in. And the chief of the Berlin Fire Brigade said, this is not working out for us. Can you get us some kind of other helmet? And they didn't. They had none. There was none coming from the United States. We were using everything over here for war effort. So they gathered up all these helmets and they took them into a, a big place and the soldiers painted them red. And then they reissued them. This happens to be a Berlin fire helmet that was originally black and had the insignia on the front. And they reissued this back to the Berlin fireman and every other fireman that they found they took his helmet and they painted it red. Well that was fine and it indicated that yes they were firemen don't shoot at us. However in that country at that time Bavaria which was a uh, uh, the south part of Germany all the firemen wore red. They've been wearing that since the early 1900s. They all wore red down there to indicate what they were. So when you issue a black hel a red helmet to a fireman that's been wearing a black helmet, in Germany they didn't like them. They didn't, they, didn't ex they didn't accept them because they weren't the traditional style that they had in this helmet here. So this, this happens to be a Bavarian helmet from World War II. What's interesting about the design of this helmet is even today the uh, German fire brigade in Berlin still wears the same helmet that they wore during World War II 
um, and it is the German DIN standard. Still has a crown on it. Has the uh, the German uh, the Berlin Bear and axes on it. And then of course this is the fireman's number. And this is the helmet. This particular helmet will glow in the dark when you turn the lights off. There's two other things about the war I wanted to tell you about too, and that is. <coughs> Hitler required everybody in his military service, that included the Fortschritts Polizei, to wear a dagger. So every dagger was different. Even the secretaries wore a little dagger. I guess they opened envelopes with them. And the trash collectors and anybody that was a government employee had to wear a dagger, and they had to wear a specific dagger. This happens to be the specific dagger for the fire brigade. And we know that's because, number one, it's, it's, it's in all the history books. The number two, on the hilt right here, it has a, a diagram of this helmet right here. So we know that that was the four shoots pull aside. Then, the officers, and for parade use, also wore a, a, a dagger. And on this dagger too, you have the four shoots pull aside insignia again on it. And this was used strictly for parades and, and uh, ceremonial services. One thing in, in the German fire service, Everybody from a sergeant up and all the policemen carried a gun that was designed especially for them. This was a Walther large P, three small P's K. So it was a Walther PPPK pistol and all the four shirts pull aside officers carried these including the firemen uh, except down to the rank of uh, sergeant or after the rank of sergeant. So this was kind of a, a neat little gun in it. Um, there's still some of these around. They, they didn't use them after the war very much. So that's it for the wartime German helmets. The next time we do this, we're going to go through the older German helmets. Some of them are pretty, uh, pretty ornate, and we also have some other things from Germany that we want to show you too. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.